What's going on, y'all? My name is Ron Carino, the executive director of a beautiful, progressive, nonprofit organization that's based in the East Bay by the name of Soul Society. That's S O U L C I E T Y dot org. We're a nonprofit organization that focuses on empowering our youth, both here locally in the Bay Area and then also overseas. Every single year, we bring creative arts and sports mentors uh, and IT mentors uh, back home to the Philippines to be able to teach creative arts workshops such as break dancing, poetry, and hip hop. We'll teach sports workshops such as basketball and um, and baseball, and then we'll also fix and donate computers to a lot of the schools in the barrios. We're going to be going back to the Philippines in January 2011. We actually have 18 mentors that's going to be going with us from both the Bay Area and then also from New York. Um, we're going to be teaching again performing arts workshops, sports workshops, and we're going to be donating over 100 computers, um, boxes of hygiene supplies, medicine, school supplies, um, and other materials that the schools over there are uh, in need of. Um, if you want to get more information, you can do so at our website, www.soulcity.org. That's www.soulcity.org. Great, great. So also, um, what? No, no, keep going. <laughs> but like, yeah, um, what bring? Like, why do you think it's important for organizations like yourself to come out to festivals like this in the community, in the Filipino community? Well, um, you know, I'm, I'm really proud to be a Filipino American, and um, I, I feel like um, there's such a huge disconnect um, with, with our culture, unfortunately. And, um, and you know, it's important to be able to have these festivals to be able to bring that pride in our culture once again, um, to be able to teach our generation, the younger generation, um, who we are, uh, what we're about, and and why you know we should be proud more than just wearing the Pacquiao shirts or wearing the flag on the hats. You know, it's more than just that. It's it's about learning and appreciating appreciating the culture, um, your your heritage, the struggles that your parents had to endure to be able to come here, um, the food and the language, um, and, and really learning more about yourself. And I didn't learn that until I started going back to the Philippines uh, back in 2005. Um, I, I didn't, that's when I really understood the struggles that my parents had to make for them to be able to uh, come here and why there's such a huge disconnect. Um, there's a huge gap between my generation and my parents' generation. And after that, I, I really had more of an appreciation of uh, my, my culture and my heritage. And I had that yearning to be able to learn more and to be able to give back both to our Filipino American youth here and then also overseas in the Philippines. Great, great. And also, um, for those that aren't from the Filipino community or not don't have a um, Filipino background, why do you think it's important for them to come out to the Pusan Festival year after year? Like, why, why do you think it's important for them to be here? Well, I think it's all about, it's not just about um, spreading culture to our own people. It's all about um, spreading culture to everybody, you know, and, and to be open, to be accepting and understanding of all different cultures so that um, we we can have um, a united front and it's not so segregated, you know, and I think the more um, um, all of us, uh, all cultures, uh, share our heritage and our language and our food and our people, um, the more um, we'll be more accepting uh, of each other as well. Great, great, great. And just to close it up. If you could think of one word to um, sum up your feelings towards your Filipino culture, what would it be? One word. Yeah. Compassion. Compassion. Okay, great. Yeah, absolutely. Great. All right, cool, man. Cool. So I hope you have a great time.